With a busy stretch of weather moving forward into the second half of this week, uh, have drizzly conditions for tonight, then showers could soak the state line into tomorrow morning. After that, flurries on the way for Friday, and we could see that again on Sunday if that next weather system does track through the area. That's why uh, it's still just a possibility that we see flurries into the weekend. But as you can see, several chances for wet weather moving forward on top of much colder and windy conditions. Uh, as we look outdoors, a little on the gloomy end as we go into this evening. 55, though, mild temperatures, light southeast breeze. Not seeing much precipitation now, but that changes uh, possibly over this evening. You can see on satellite and radar that we're just getting a couple little hints of drizzle here and there, mainly north of US 20. South of US 20 looking fairly dry currently. So we turn to future track, make it more on and off drizzly conditions. So really not looking at a ton of rain, but it doesn't stay fully dry this evening. We'll continue to have the very spotty showers throughout the evening. We get a little closer to about 11 o'clock and all of this rainfall starts to dry on out. We'll have a dry rest of the night then. So not picking up much for rain, but keep in mind just a little drizzly early, then breezy, cloudy and mild for the rest of the night. 53 for the overnight low, feeling pretty warm, at least compared to where we usually are this time of year. As we go throughout the overnight hours, note the winds pick up, gusting at times to 30 miles per hour. And this is all part of a sprawling weather system that stretches from Canada all the way down towards the Gulf of Mexico. Right in between, once this cold front pushes through us, we're going to see an increase in showers and maybe even hear a couple rumbles of thunder in a few spots. Right now, we're getting into the warm sector of the storm system, which is why we're looking just a little drizzly as we go throughout the remainder of this evening. Here we are on feature track tomorrow morning. Uh, the main cold front approaches, and as you can see, those showers are looking a little more intense. We're not necessarily going to see too many downpours, but the rain does pick up a little going throughout the morning. So as you set this in motion, getting closer to sunrise, light rainfall early, but then that line of activity uh, slides through by about 8 to 9 o'clock. You can see that that's when we may get a couple quick downpours or at least some heavier showers, so keep that in mind. 8 to 9 o'clock, about the middle of the morning is when we'll have the peak of the shower activity. After that, it slides out and by noon expecting to see drier conditions and colder air moving in. Our high temperatures will be during the morning. We slowly drop off into the 40s throughout the remainder of the day with wind chills in the 30s. Speaking of colder weather, we see that enough on Friday that on and off flurries are ahead. Future track does show it being just a little intense, uh, but basically look for on and off flurries all throughout the day with one more burst of snowfall coming through into the evening. May see a half an inch of snow stick to the grass, but not likely to impact the roads. By then, only the upper 30s for highs and we stay in the 30s going into the weekend. There is a slight chance for some flurries into Sunday morning. After that, we warm back up again with quieter weather next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we don't hold on to those 50s for too long. We're right back into the 40s late next week. But again, the weather looking pretty quiet after a busy end of this week, Brittany. We like the word quiet. Alex, thanks for that. Coming